come on. So it will be France who kick off, playing from right to left. French flakiness in recent times has given way to pragmatism. They certainly have shed some of those old stereotypes. Second time he's had the ball in his hand in this opening minute. Out there from Jalibert, first touch there for Bakatawa. Bakatawa is just looking for the offload. Dupont. That is uh, tough for Fenua. A too long lock on from Krita. A chance to run here for Teddy Toma. The ball inside, Dupont's after it, and the has got it. What a way to start the test match. 70 or so seconds on the clock, and it's that man. Perhaps not just the best scrum half in the world, maybe the best rugby player in the world. This is cute from Teddy Toma, over the top, the bounce of the rugby ball. One hand, you're allowed to do that, goes forward, but he retains the ball. What a try. Jans. Inside there from Ford to Farrell. Well, there's so much more continuity here about England than we've seen so far in this championship. Billy Bonapola not getting anywhere that time. There's the ball for the scrum half. Ford, Marco Bonapola. Here's Henry Slade. Three metres away this time, England. Youngs, Ford, and now surely for Watson. And Anthony Watson gets his fourth try of the championship. Well, where have you been, England? They get offloading the balls, people coming flat, keeping coming with pace. Uh, it's just that standing stuff. Really good on the eye to watch. Well done, Anthony Watson, on your 50th cap. There's Ford. Well, the quality of rugby we're seeing here, unrecognisable from the stuff we saw in November. Ball available. There is the ball. So more balls available and then he went off feet. Overwhelmingly expected to get this. And he doesn't disappoint. And three out of three for the England captain. Yeah, good. There is one French headline from the opening half there. Paul Willems, who has missed his first tackle of the championship. Here's oh, Look at the space here for France. The floated pass out to Peno. And Peno can almost walk into the corner. Superbly worked. That is classic France. That is a thing of absolute beauty. Straight over the top. England all at sea. That is simply, like I said, a thing of absolute beauty off a set piece. You don't see these very often, so apparently you can't score off a set piece these days. That's just beautiful. Well, the classic move of this new France team from the first phase is that long throw straight over the top. England will have been in expecting it. Blade. Monsieur Jalibert showing some good soccer skills oh. and quite a step well if you're looking for justification as to why Mathieu Jalibert retains the 10 jersey despite the eligibility of Entermat that answered it what a piece of skill from Jalibert what a piece of pace like you said he's such a threat two point at him are just dangerous all over the pitch last two minutes of the half and what a half it's been well I think uh, Teddy Toma Thank you. Well, he's got himself out of a spot there is the wing and he's got himself into some space he's got Cyril by alongside him here's Antoine Dupont on here to Dylan Cretan well it was an unpromising situation at one moment for France they're turning it into quite an opportunity there he is look at the strength of the scrum half Dupont on there from Aldrich Mohamed Hawass up with the play Marco Bonapola is going to have to get himself out of there but now France have been penalised Dupont, over it is, who takes play within a few metres of the England 22. Marua Toji has got himself in a spot he can barely get himself away from, but there is a penalty advantage here to France, so they know they've got the chance of three points if they can't make something of this. 
They'll take three. Four, four of them three days. Days of the week. They'll take three. Jelly Bear kicks towards the south. Straight does through. so very sweetly. George Ford has kicked England down to almost to the French 22. Well, Paul Phillips has emerged with it, but it's a penalty to England. And that another example. England back within fourth. Yule's calling it to himself. Jamie George has it. Don't change. England looking to get the choreography right. France trying to disrupt. The arm is out there from the referee. What a chance this is for England. Can they turn their fortunes? They've got four minutes in which to do it. There goes Atoji, and he's in. He scored it. Well, the referee says the ball has been held up. I've got held up, unless you tell me otherwise. It's a tight call, just hold a moment, please. Yeah, let's just take our time here now, guys. It's just whether that first angle, on field decisions. Yeah, on field decisions, no try. Keeping the suspense. So it's just whether that tip of that ball is, uh, is grounded there on the grass. So let's... Yeah, Andy, you I have a decision. Yeah, go ahead. You may award the try, the yeah. tip of the ball does go. touch the grain of the okay. grass. Okay, so grounding is good, yeah, Joey? Okay, grounding is good, yeah. So Maru Itoji, who was many people's villain in Cardiff, I tell you what... Yeah, just under that 15, Joey, is it? He's almost certainly going to be the hero this time, though. Owen Farrell converts, but it's the man who would be king, Maru Itoji, who is the hero of the hour for England. Well, France have to score the try if they are to remain in contention for the Grand Chelem. Three points will certainly keep them very much in contention for the championship, but they want to go for gold here. And what an opportunity this is. Brice Dula cutting in field. He had Teddy Tomer outside him. The last 20 seconds of the match. Dupont on to Greg Aldrich. Johnny Hill there making the tackle, and Dupont, of all people, has knocked it on. And has the prospect of a Grand Slam literally slipped through their fingers, and it is. The Guinness Six Nations player of the match who fires it into touch. England have come back from what to this point has been a miserable campaign. And that is the image that tells you all you need to know about this. Fabian Gaultier at the end of what has been a wretched couple of weeks for France and not a good fortnight for himself has seen his side lose. Maru Itoji has snatched victory at the death. England have beaten France by 23 points to 20.